being recorded and I hold the March 2022nd Local 2627 General Membership Meeting to order. So with that, um, I want to go out a little bit out of order because we have a guest speaker. Assemblywoman Nilly Rosick is here as I guess she, if she, her name may seem familiar because she is the, um, the sponsor of the assembly bill. Let me see, assembly does A457 for telework up in New York, up in Albany. So this bill is really affecting us. So it's very important um, that we, you know, she came and is going to speak to us about it and talk to and talk about a lot of things. So I would like to in, um, invite Miss um, Assemblywoman Nellie Rosick to please unmute yourself. Assemblywoman. Thank you so much, Laura. Um, it's great to be here with everyone. And I love that because of Zoom, we're able to do this and a lot of people are logging in. And I just, as much as, you know, you were joking about it, the chimes is actually really, um, a really great thing that so many people get to experience and be in the space together. Um, yes. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Neely Rosick. I am an assembly member. I've been an assembly woman for about eight years now. Um, and when I got elected to the legislature in 2012, I was the youngest woman ever elected to the legislature. And with that comes a lot of different responsibilities, but among them, um, I like to think that I am trying to help government modernize and telework or hybrid work, however you want to um, label it, telecommuting or working from home, that is what we should be aiming for. Um, this is a bill and I'm happy to drop it into the chat so people can familiarize themselves with it. Um, this is a bill that I wrote way back before the pandemic in an effort to help folks um, live a more flexible life and have more work flexibility. I'm a big believer in that for many reasons, but predominantly I was um, a public servant starting off in government and my commute from Eastern Queens was an hour and a half to get to work. And that was three hours of my day that I really wanted back, even if it was just for one day. Um, and so I'm a big believer in hybrid work and flexible work and flexible scheduling whenever possible, whenever reasonable. Um, and so I wrote this bill many years ago. Um, I'm sure that this group I don't have to tell, um, you know, technology is ever changing. You understand the importance of technology in our lives and how much easier it is to work from home or have a flexible work schedule. Um, you're at the forefront of that. I don't have to convince you of that. And I think that it's really incumbent on all of us to kind of roll up our sleeves and hopefully get this done because if there's one thing we learned during the pandemic, it's that the old systems, the old way of thinking, the old way we did things just doesn't work anymore. Um, and I've heard from many of you, I've heard from many other workers across the city and the state system um, who really just wanna telework um, and deserve that, right? You work hard and um, we all sort of want a little bit more flexibility in our jobs. Um, I would love the help from all of you. Um, if you're interested in getting more involved and in helping push this legislation, um, get involved with this local, get involved in the coalition that we're building talk to your local representatives. I need my colleagues to understand that people from across the city really need this and really want it. 
um, and together we'll be able to make it happen. I'm really hopeful that we'll be able to get it done this year, um, but I do need to enlist the help of so many of you. So I'm gonna stop there. I'm also happy to answer any questions about the bill or talk a little bit more about Albany and the assembly if you have other questions. Um, and lastly, I'll say thank you so much to Laura and to the executive board, all of the delegates for reaching out and saying that you wanted to have a conversation about this because it's so relevant to all of our lives. And, um, and I'm really grateful for your leadership in, in starting that conversation. Thank you very much, Assemblywoman, because I know when I first became president back in 2018, I was horrified to find out that, that these two bills were just sitting there languishing. And I'm like, oh my God, this is hard. I mean, this is before the pandemic, so I did all I can. When I go up to the Albany, um, ask me legislator, I talk, any politician I can get they listen and hear me. I'm talking their ear off about supporting this bill. So I've talked to John Liu. I've talked to, in fact, before Sen uh, Senator Conry, I, I reached out to him to encourage him to support that bill. And he signed up, he signed up for it right away. So it's just really great that it's up there. I mean, I'm hoping and praying um, that at least the efforts and the work and all that running back and forth up to Albany and talking to talking to a politician, even s s council people. I sit on the um, DC 37 screening committee, and I, that's a question I'm, I was asking every politician that was seeking out the endorsement of DC 37. So when members ask me, oh, what is you doing? What is the local doing? I'm like, I'm doing all I can. I'm exhausted. I, I tweet about it. I do everything. I,